what is Rutgers lineup going to look like next year? 2019, 2020, what is Rutgers going to look like? They just graduated Anthony Ashnall, which was very unfortunate because that is a guy who wrestled extremely well this year. He's a four-time national finalist, and he is a national champion, obviously, this year. And Rutgers' second national champion, only behind Nick Suriano, who is returning. Now, Rutgers has four out of the top 100 recruits in the class of 2019, and they have one of those guys, one in the top 10. That's pretty good. You know, only nine other schools can say that. Actually, less than that because Ohio State has three in the top 10. However, this is about Rutgers. So, big year, but they're graduating Ashnall, John Van Brill, and Nick Gravina. Um, now, I also want to say that by Rutgers, which is another reason I I want to talk about Rutgers this week is because they had a great performance at Beat the Streets. I mean, you talk about Nick Suriano beating Joey Colon. You talk about Jojo Aragona beating Adam Bucello, uh, pinning him. And then even Anthony Ashnall had a solid match with James Green. But let's get into the lineup. I'm going to go right down through 125 all the way to heavyweight. First up at 125, uh, we have a guy, Shane Metzler, who is returning, and he, you know, he is a true junior, so he could take a redshirt year. I really don't know why he would, um, but he is a guy who went 10 and 18 last season. He struggled a little bit, but you know, he's their 125 pounder, and I don't see any competition here. There really aren't that many. You know, backups here that will be starting over him. So I see Metzler at 125. At 133, you know, you got Nick Suriano. And Suriano isn't a guy who's going to get beat out by anybody on his team. Uh, he's a returning national champion, two time national finalist. He was a Big Ten champ. And, you know, he's coming off of, like I said, that big win off of Beat the Streets. And he's just on top of the world right now, Nick Suriano, as he deserves to be. Uh, he's, he's struggled. In the past, and, and by struggle, I mean just mean he's he's gone through some hardships, not necessarily in his wrestling career, uh, but he did have a couple losses that he ended up avenging in Michich in uh, DeSanto. He ended up avenging those losses uh, and beating Fix in the national finals. I see Suriano starting again at 133 as a true senior. So next up at 141 pounds, we have. Uh, we have a couple guys who could make the lineup. Uh, last year starting was Peter LaPerry. Peter LaPerry is 13 and 14. He was a national qualifier, so that's pretty good. And that actually helped uh, Rutgers do really well at the national tournament. They ended up finishing ninth place with like 50 some points, just I believe behind Minnesota, who again had another great, great tournament. Now, LaPerry won a match in Pittsburgh, which it's more than a lot of guys can say. And he, you know, he wrestled really well. He'll be going up against another guy who is Jojo Aragona. Now, Aragona, coming in as a true freshman, uh, he just graduated. He's actually, he hasn't even graduated high school yet, but he's coming in. I uh, wrestled well at Beat the Streets. He is the number six recruit in the country right now. He is number one at 138 pounds. He is a state champ from New Jersey. And he, like I say, pinned Buscello, who is going to Arizona State. And he, he won Beast of the East, which is a massive high school tournament. Now, Aragona, I think, you know, he could wrestle 41. He could wrestle 49. Uh, he wrestled 38 in high school, so I probably see that 41. But will he wrestle this next year? I don't think so. Uh, I haven't really heard anything. I, I don't really think that he'll wrestle as a true freshman. Might as well take that red shirt year. Uh, but, you know, it could happen. But that's just because of that IP LaPerry uh, starting at 141 for Rutgers this year. Next up, 149. Again, you have Aragona, like I said, but I, I don't think he's going to start. Then you have you have a couple guys. This is actually a pretty loaded weight for Rutgers. They have Nick, you have Nick Santos, who is a redshirt sophomore. He was injured last year. He went 20-8. and eight. Um and then in his true freshman season, uh, that's when he went 28. Next up, you have Mike Van Brill, who is a junior, who wrestled 141 last year, wrestled against Peter Perry, uh, but ended up outgrowing that weight. So you have Brill there. And then you have uh, Devin Britton. Devon Britton, sorry, he was a true freshman. Devon 
is the number 83 recruit. So that's another one of their top 100 recruits, class of 2019. And he's actually a guy who's not from New Jersey. He is a two-time state place winner from Pennsylvania. And why do I point that out that he's not from New Jersey? Well, look, Rutgers has so many New Jersey guys in their lineup. And last year, every single guy who started was from New Jersey. And look, there's something to say about that in that they wrestled well with all New Jersey guys. However, and this is just my opinion, you need guys from all over the, the country to make a solid team, okay? You need guys from Pennsylvania, from Virginia, from California, from Texas, from Iowa, from all over the country to make up a good team. Now, you're not always going to get those guys. You know, you're not going to get a 50 guys on your team for, in your lineup. And I'm not saying you have to. The best guy who, who wrestles, you know, makes a team, that's who needs to wrestle, whether they're from, doesn't matter where they're from. But I think Rutgers needs to look a little bit at recruiting. And, you know, they did that this year with Devon Britton coming in from PA. So, you know, that's just my side. But Mike Van Brill, I believe that he's going to start, you know, he's a junior. He's going to start at 149 pounds. At 157, you have another recruit coming in at number 66 recruit is Robert Kennard who is a true freshman, will be a true freshman. Don't see much competition there at 157 uh, because John Van Brill, who is a national qualifier, actually graduated. And, you know, you have that boom, boom, tough graduations in national at 149 and then Van Brill at 57. You know, those are tough losses that uh, Rutgers is going to have to make up for in some way. At 165 pounds, another loaded weight. You have Kennard who could go up and wrestle, but I see him dropping down wrestling 57. Uh, you have Stefan Glasgow, who's a true sophomore, who wrestled, you know, his first season this past year as a freshman was his first big 10 tournament didn't qualify for nationals but you know he, he had a decent season uh he was seven in nine and then again another guy you have is anthony oliveri who is a junior right now who i see making this way is steph uh, glasgow i see him wrestling at 165 pounds for Rutgers. at 174 you have jackson turley who is a the fourth recruit from uh, Rutgers in the top 100, number 45 recruit in the country, graduating 2019, and he's another guy not from New Jersey, so he's from Virginia. However, I don't think he's going to start this year. I actually think Joe Grello, who's a redshirt junior, is going to start. He was a national qualifier last year, went 18 and 11, and he wrestled well at Midland, uh, he, and he actually won two matches in Pittsburgh, so he wrestled well, and I see Grello starting again, and that way Turley can actually take that redshirt year. At 197, two guys here, Matt Carrenti, who's a redshirt junior, and Max Wright. So Eminem, uh, Matt and Max. Max Wright is a sophomore. He is he was actually injured uh, in last year, and he stepped in in the last match last couple of matches uh, and then the other guy Carenti Carenti was a national qualifier in 2017 and also a big 10 place winner in 2017 uh, and that's why I think he's going to start again this year at as a redshirt junior at 197 pounds and Christian Colucci at heavyweight is going to wrestle as a redshirt senior he transferred from Lehigh uh, last year he wrestled for Rutgers, 15 and 13 he was, and he almost qualified for nationals. So Rutgers, I don't know if they're going to do as well as they did last year, just because they have a couple guys, you know, missing now. However, I think they could have a decent season, win a couple of duels, and I think they mostly just have a couple of great guys who uh, can contend for a national title. You know, maybe Aragona wrestles, it, and he, you know, is a all-american and i think suriana again is in contention for that national title and that's what i have to say about Rutgers. <laughs>